Hello Flow Tube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you my um, cross stitch shopping which has been made in the last few months so meaning like I used to put all of this together step by step for example if I bought somewhere the chart and I needed the embellishment pack I was just waiting waiting for the embellishment pack to come so that I would show you all together because it's more logical I would say to show it like this and I had some um, presents which I want to show you because I'm very glad that I received them the first what I wanted to show you it's uh, from Victoria Sampler uh, you know that um, like a few months ago two or three uh, they said that Victoria Sampler is uh, retiring Victoria uh, not Victoria Thea Duyek sorry the designer is retiring and uh, the company is not going to release uh, not new designs but is not going to release the embellishment packs anymore so i didn't understand exactly what that means i i don't know exactly if they're going to sell only charts and you'll have we will have to like uh, buy everything we need to stitch the designs or like i don't know honestly i don't know but uh, I had some uh, designs on my wish list from Victoria Sampler for some years and I decided that uh, I have to buy them now because later I may not find them. Uh, generally speaking, from Victoria Sampler I haven't stitched anything. So I don't know if I'm going to like, if it's going to be easy for me, difficult for me, I don't know. What I have, so what I have, not what I have, what I bought. I have such a design, tea roses, such a um, um, pin cushion. Uh, I bought it from uh, one to three stitch a few years ago and I bought for, for it just and the embellishment pack as well because this one is not expensive by the way it has everything I bought even this uh, tray uh, don't remember Sudbury house I think but I haven't made it so far I was planning to do it on my um, 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 three months uh, spring starts but I did something else and I didn't do this one. So I have this one and I also have this one, which I didn't buy it on purpose. Uh, this one was in a lot on eBay. So I was buying, I bought that lot because there was a just Nan with the embellishment pack, which, has, which I was looking for. And the price was very good. So it was worth buying it. And I like this design. I really like this design. So this is Carol Singer sampler. Um, and uh, this one, it was like uh, it came with the Krinic Mori um, accessory pack, but th in this accessory pack, it's just the white floss because there are some designs of uh, Victoria Sampler. They come with two packs. One pack is either with white or black. At least I noticed so. Uh, Krinic Mori and the main embellishment pack is the one which is pricey and you have to buy uh, separately. So when I started the um, like buying the things from my wish list i found the embellishment pack of this one but i decided not to buy it because because first of all it's 70 or 75 dollars which is quite pricey because i'm not sure that i will stitch this one so i like it but i'm not ready to stitch it yet and like looking at the at the um, at everything i mean like the threads the embellishment which is used here i decided that in time i will be able to make my own embellishment and the design of course it won't look like exactly like this one but still it's going to be beautiful so this one doesn't go anywhere it stays in my stash but it doesn't have the embellishment pack so this is what i had from victoria sampler and this is what i wanted which was in my wish list so heirloom christmas sampler this one which is quite famous and quite a lot of stitchers cross stitchers like them like it uh, you know that it comes in um, dusty pink green and dusty pink and it comes also in uh, green and red my favorite um, variant is red yes I like pink Christmas but I think red it's nicer at least it's my <laughs> thing and thanks God I found it in uh, red so as I liked it, I found it in a local shop. It was the last one in stock. I bought it and I'm happy. So I have this one because I know that a few stitchers, when they wanted to buy this design specifically, they didn't find uh, embellishment uh, anymore. So embellishment for this one, it was very hard to find uh, pink or red. So both of them. 
Okay, next one, it's this, um, I would say 3D designs. Um, I make a lot of these things from uh, Just Nan, but Just Nan doesn't have the house and the tree, this kind of tree. And uh, I like them for, I have been liking them for a few years now, so I knew that I want them. And uh, if I'm not wrong, these ones I found on One Free Stitch because I started buying them immediately as the rumor spread out that Victoria Templar is going to uh, retire. Thea is going to retire. So I bought the embellishments as well for this one. This is for Gingerbread House. This is for um, Christmas tree. So this is the embellishment pack for the Ginger House. It has a lot of bits and buttons. Very nice, this one. They are like candies, you know. They should be like candies. Uh, this is how it looks like. And the um, design of the um, uh, Biscornia is also here. So it's super nice. And, uh, and the embellishment of the Christmas tree. Here it is. And this is how the Christmas tree looks like. Looks like the nice thing is that I already have a fabric for this one in my stash. So I will stitch it. <laughs> Then, then um, the last design which I wanted is this one, the Christmas wrap. But when I was looking for it in the shop, I just found two more. <laughs> That's why I have extra two which weren't planned. So Christmas wrap, very beautiful, small design, not very expensive. Expensive. This is the embellishment pack for this one. It's not pricey. This one is not pricey. Then when looking for the Christmas wrap, I discovered. Such a design, Bumblebee Lace Sampler, this one. I looked like uh, on uh, Google to find uh, it stitched. It's exquisitely beautiful. And of course I bought the embellishment pack for this one as well. And when looking for this ones, I found this design, Peaches and Cream Sampler. But uh, they didn't have the uh, embellishment pack for this one, and I decided that I'm going to buy it like this. The, um, the chart is not expensive at all. It was like $8, and I thought that maybe in time... I looked at the embellishment pack, so because inside you have it, like it's set what you have, what you need. Maybe I, maybe I am going to change the colors. I don't know. I'll see. So this is everything from Victoria Sampler, which I have been buying. The next I want to show you is such a um, kit by um, Jean Lin. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, this is a world, old, old world map, something like this. Um, I had this one in my wish list for a few years, like quite a few years, but um, I was like, I'll buy it then, I'll buy it later, I will buy it later. And I was looking um, on eBay for a kit by Jean Lin, don't remember which one exactly. I saw this one, it was being sold for $19, I think. And I started looking at the prices and the, uh, the, how, how much it cost. And I noticed that it can be like even uh, 60 and uh, this one was for 20 I read all the description, they said it's new and it's uh, sealed. And I bought it because I said that who knows if in future I'll find such a good deal and I have it and I'll stitch it one day so it has every, everything here it has everything here so one more tick for a wish list design I bought as well some Mill Hill uh, uh, kits uh, beaded kits so this one is school days and I bought it because my son is going to school this year so he starts the reception. He's four, he's only four years, four months, but according to the UK system, he's going to school. And I wanted to stitch this one and where the letters are, I wanted to change something to write, write his name, like the year he started the school. And I bought as well this button, this Apple button. Uh, this is also like a Mill Hill button. And uh, because I want to make some changes, if it's going to be okay, sorry for the sounds. And I also bought a Mill Hill um, frame, the one which comes here according to the key, the red one. And I have red designs which come for red, uh, red uh, because this one is not going to be permanent. Like I'm going to use it like maybe every September, who knows, uh, at least from the very beginning. Because in the red one, uh, during the Christmas, it will come a Christmas design. 
because it's too much to have a frame for every design at least i think so and i bought such a design this is a newly released design with uh, such a nice minivan or what this is pumpkin delivery and of course i bought it because 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 i have the big uh, the big blue truck i like it a lot so uh, i intend to stitch this through this uh, this fall i hope if i'm going to succeed i have uh, one more design which uh, has a history meaning that i i have been gathering this one for a long time so uh, this is uh, julia punta antiki gpa uh, chart this is rebecca and paul's uh, this is a uh, scissor how they say keeper <laughs> uh, this is um, the um, pin cushion and this is uh, either needle book or um, pin keep I, i'm not sure this one because i haven't been looking exactly because i'm not sure that i'm going to stitch this one i am more into those two ones okay so the thing is that this chart i bought a long time ago meaning like in the beginning of last summer when i bought um, a lot for uh, free half dolls from julia punti antiki meaning that i bought it from her shop in italy i knew about this chart for a long time i bought it but i didn't show it in that video about half dolls because i thought that this is halloween this is not a half doll this is this, this chart doesn't fit there and i forgot about it and i haven't been showing it in any of my videos about shopping because i was forgetting all the time and now this summer i remember remembered about this chart and i decided that i want to buy everything i need and i want to stitch it because it stays in my stash for a long time and i when i bought it i liked it so much that i wanted to stitch it even the last halloween so what do i need for this design because there are specific things which i needed here first of all the scissors which are called for this design this um Kelmsco design Puji scissors, so not any others, but Puji scissors, because you see that they have to fit like her dress, kind of. Then the um, uh, fabric, which comes here, it's a Zweigert, it's vintage country mocha, and it's 36 count. And I have this vintage country mocha in my stash, I have it like in the 28th count, I have it in the 32nd count, but I don't have the 36, so I had to buy it for this design. Uh, then the threads, which are called here, they are um, gentle art threads, all of them. So uh, here I was luckier because I bought actually just one skein. Uh, because uh, the chew, this chew like sugar plum and the tomato, I had from uh, one half doll with all leftovers, but they are going to be enough for sure. Uh, then um, this chew, uh, dried thyme and sunflower, uh, they weigh in like I kitted other designs and they are new, but they were in other designs. I just took them because I don't need a lot of them. So I'm going to stitch and put back, put back. <laughs> and the only one which I bought it is uh, chalk, the white one, because I thought that uh, by looking here, I decided that the, you can see like that it's not purely white. But when I look at this uh, thread, I don't see like being other colors than kind of a little bit dirty white. So I'll see when I'm going to stitch that one. And on her head, she has a rook. Uh, I have, say, from just another button. I have such a button. And uh, yes, there are like small, ah, they have a big thing. So what do you recommend actually for this one, for this pin cushion? It's lone elm, uh, you know, like uh, wooden uh, things, wooden base, but they are, expensive and they are not being sold here and the um, postage also is quite expensive to being to be sent from us here that's why i bought a replacement this is also for so also cross stitch can be inserted here and the good thing you know it's like that uh, you can change this one so i decided that i'll have like in october i'll have a halloween design then i can have a christmas design so because this one is quite classic and I also need like pom pom, rick rack, but I'll buy this one in the hobby craft because it's easier to choose when you see the actual color. I hope they will have in stash something there. So I'll buy the rest of the things and this is going to be an October design. So I am intending to stitch this one for this Halloween. 
And the last lot of uh, what I have been, what I bought is um, uh, the things which I bought from uh, my um, home country because I have been visiting my parents and I have been to Chisinau where there is a Lucas and Letty Stitch um, shop and uh, I'm proud that I didn't buy any kits. Why did, do I say that I'm proud? Because uh, you know it's uh, they are, it's the country where they are being produced and the shops are fantastic to go there and look and it's very difficult not to buy anything but i was logically uh, like i understood that i will buy some kits which i won't stitch for the next few years and uh, the kits i like they have been newly released so it means that they are not going to take them out of production so it doesn't have any sense of like investing money now in them that's why I didn't buy, but I bought something else. So I have such a bead organizer. It looks like this. This is from an Ukrainian brand, um, Wonder Country, Volshevna Estrona, it's called. So here is for beads. I have one more like, I have one like this. Uh, here on the surface, it's a di different like uh, pattern, but I like them enormously. That's why I bought one more. And here you can organize like your threads, your needles, and this is a bonus from them. So uh, I bought one more because I like very much organizing the Mill Hill uh, designs in this one. And I like that they have a lot of things for, uh, a lot of, um, um, how do I say, space for beads. So you can make um, designs which have many colors, many beads, uh, many colors of beads. Yes, this is the correct way to say it. So it can be organized here. So I bought one more like this and um, I bought a lot of things which I won't show you because they are not interesting for my um, designs mostly from just then you know like uh, fusible interfacing things like this because there was a shop which had all these things they cost like very cheap much cheaper than here so I bought a lot of them so that I would have for my future like uh, designs which I'm going to to finish and as well I bought uh, some uh, fabric so I bought a huge piece of uh, antique white uh, uh, in, this is 32nd count Belfast and uh, I'll show you what for because it's for a few designs and I have uh, navy this is even weave. They're both from Zweigart, if I didn't say. And this one I bought mostly to replace the um, Mill Hill designs which come on this navy um, perforated paper because I still think that in future I'm going to replace the perforated paper with, uh, uh, with fabric. And this is it with my shoppings. And when I was in Chisinau, I uh, met uh, cross teachers. So we had kind of, uh, I wouldn't say that it was a retreat, but we met in a restaurant and we brought like um, our, uh, some of our cross stitch works and uh, we talked, I met other bloggers. It was super duper interesting. Um, unfortunately, I didn't film because the other bloggers also didn't film. They said that they want to enjoy the moment, but, um, and we really enjoyed the the moments but in future i think that i'm going to still i'm going to to film uh, because i hope there are going to be more we spent like three hours there showing our like cross-stitched works discussing speaking communicating like uh, asking for different questions it was super interesting and then we went to look at shop and we made some shopping there together like again discussing advising it was super super great experience and uh, my uh, stitching friend uh, natalie she gave me a present she gave me not a present she gave me like like it's like two three <laughs> presents uh, such a um, kit this is from uh, mereshka this is uh, such a golden fish and uh, also she gave me such scissors they are from madeira i don't have scissors from madeira and they come like this you see and um, i wanted such scissors because uh, they say the stitchers say that they are very good for um, hardanger and i have victoria sampler and of course i will make under hardanger and also natalie gave all of us all the stitchers such uh, they are brooches actually but she gave us so that we, we would make uh, um, uh, needle minders. I haven't made needle minders so far because I'm not sure if I'm going to make a needle minder. I like them as brooches so far. So this is what I got from uh, Natalie. I also got um, 
some presents for from two cross teachers. One is from UK, the other is from US, and um, I shared some. Um, uh, out of production uh, charts with them and uh, they wanted to thank me for this and i'm super super uh, how they say happy and i thank them for this because it's nice it's very very nice to to have something like this so this one is from Alison from uk so uh, she gave me a um, uh, 30 second count sparkle snow count even weave a huge piece which i am going to use for a lot of things especially this one is good for um, christmas designs at least i like christmas designs being stitched on this one then i have a present from uh, gaila from us um, so she sent me a lot of just nan because she knows that i am crazy about just nan and i'm super super happy and those who stitch just nan and those who understand what a um, how they say what a great uh, present this is so i have uh, some uh, small charts so these are you know this one's you you can like um, a kit yourself because they imply uh, mill heel beads and uh, linen and the dmc threads so like two butterflies like this i don't have these butterflies then it's uh, rosebuds this one then uh, two charts which don't have a preview but they have uh, this one is pot puri and it comes with such a bee this is a bead and then i have spring peppers which is uh, with such charm, uh, froth charm. And this one, guys, this one, <laughs> this is uh, one of the um, glorious uh, wings uh, uh, designs. This is amber. Um, I would like, of course, to have the whole, um, how do I say, um, uh, range, but now they are quite pricey and they are rare. But I have one and I'm super happy and I will stitch it very, very happily. It's super nice. Then it's the Design Christmas Elegance. I don't have this Christmas design, which was with uh, casual linen, ram, and with a cranic one. So this is this is great. This is super great, honestly. And uh, then uh, Angel Tapestry, which was coming also with uh, a piece of uh, hand tied uh, linen. And an organizer like this, which I don't have. So such type of organizers I don't have. But I wanted to try such an organizer to see if it fits me as a stitcher so that I would buy in future other ones. So everything is super, super great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's everything I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was interesting for you. I hope you liked it. Maybe found out something new for you. And see you in my next videos. Until then, bye-bye.